It is 7 in the morning and I just woke up and I have my appointment today with the doctor for well, the seminar and then the appointment with the doctor at Cedar Sinai for the weight loss gastric sleeve surgery. Let's see how much I weigh right now. 283. That will be, I guess, my start weight. And I guess the before of my belly. There you are. So I got here 20 minutes late in the morning. My cinema was at 9, but it took me an hour and 40 minutes to get here to Cedar Sinai. But it's done, and it's 4 or 4.40, 7 hours, but I'm happy. I just got blood work done test. Next thing is go see a psychiatrist, meet with a nutritionist, and then have an upper GI tract done. And then I won't have this belly problem. Look at that belly. <laughs> today is March 10, Thursday. It's about 6.30 p.m. And today is my second day of fasting. It's a total of 48 hours of fasting before my surgery. I was hoping to keep like a little vlog of the process, um, but of uh, this the weight loss surgery. But a lot of things got in the way, and it's a long time, and I got lazy. <laughs> Plus, not much has happened. I I started I guess in November the process, and now we're in March, so that's 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 months, which is, I don't think that's bad. You know, I saw a psychiatrist, I saw a psychiatrist once, so I saw a dietitian twice, and a nurse twice at Cedars, and the Dr. Birch twice. One, I guess the first um, time I went there, I had a class for consideration for the surgery, and then one for the pre-op, and then also went to one support group meeting, and there was also a pre-op meeting I had to go to, and then I had to see my own doctor to get a physical clearance for surgery. And I'm here. I've dropped, I'll check right now the weight. But I started at 284 and I'm like a 261. So, but I'll double check with the weight. I've been up and down with that 263, 261. I'm a little bit nervous and excited. I guess the nerves come from the fact that, oh, I'll be in pain. I have a surgery tomorrow, Friday at seven in the morning I have to check in at five and I'll be leaving here around four in the morning yep 261.5 I'll weigh myself tomorrow morning before surgery see what it is I'm gonna miss you friend like I'm like preggers it's the morning of three in the morning So here we go. Belly feels so bloated. I have more pain from the hernia than that has done, but now the stomach is hurting. So $25, insert credit card. That's fine, yeah. That's it, right? And we're out of here, kids. Except for... This is where I entered and this is where I leave. Friday to Sunday. You're driving pretty harshly now. I need to it to your... I just had surgery. Can you not drive like crazy? <laughs> I'm barely getting adjusted to your shit, man. I know. I don't know. So we're going home to Riverside. It is 1.13 p.m. I am loaded on Norco, so hopefully I don't have any pain. How's the far risks? Dun, dun, dun. 
So I'm at the Naya's house. I'm gonna see how much weight I gain. Cause I gotta gain weight. From all those IVs they put in me. Yep, yep, yep. I gained 10 pounds. What? Yeah, I'm telling you, they put like 20 IV bags in me. It's just water weight and shit. Yeah, it's a, clearly, because I haven't eaten anything for five days. They filled me up with fluids. Oh, it's too dark in here. So I'll be staying here for my recovery. Janet very kindly arranged my bed for me. And I have all my vitamins out. My jello that I'll be needing. And like I just weighed myself. And I gained 10 pounds in the hospital. Even though I haven't eaten anything for 5 days. Look at my belly. I feel swollen, but like I said, they put a lot of IV fluid in me. Let me show you the scars. Ooh, we can get more light in here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six, and six incisions that they did the surgery through. They shaved my belly. Um, not so bad. But I feel like right here is just bloated. It's a little bruise right there, huh? Today is the fourth day of surgery. It is March 13, 2016. It's Monday. Thankfully, I'm off from work for about two weeks. And I'm feeling a lot better. I still wake up with pain once I get that fourth hour and it's still painful to stand up getting out of bed, sitting up, and all that. But I didn't record much while I was in the hospital because I was just too much in pain. It was still hard to talk. And so I will take you guys back to how it went. Um, I think I recorded getting into the hospital. I got there at four in the morning. Surgery was gonna be starting at 7.15, but didn't actually start until, well, they didn't take me to the operating room until 7.50. I met everybody, the anesthesiologist, the doctor, the doctors were going to be helping him out. And they used the robot to operate on me. And so, they, like I said, at 7.50, they took me to the operating room. And <clears throat> they had me move over from my bed to the surgery, surgery table. And the anesthesiologist started to put it. She's like, let me give you a shot of tequila. And I laughed. And she's like, imagine you're in a nice vacation spot. Where would, where would that be? And I was like, oh, Maui. She was like, you've been there before? I was like, yeah, it's really nice. And so she's asking, oh, where did you stay? And all that. And the last day I remember saying, oh, the Ritz Carlton. And she was like, oh, that's nice. And boom, knocked out. The next thing I remember is waking up in the recovery room and it being in so much pain. And the pain wasn't concentrated in the stomach. It was concentrated in my chest right here under my sternum. It was um, just pressure and burping and so um, it was hard to breathe my throat was sore i was going to prepare mentally for the pain I was like okay i'm going to be in pain i had seen other videos of people what they go through so like yeah my throat's going to hurt my stomach's going to hurt i'm going to feel the gas pressure so yeah i feel bloated but the nurses in the recovery room at cedars were really awesome anytime i wanted pain medication they were on it and i basically um was feeling okay not as bad i got up and i did about three laps around the recovery room. They were a full house, so even though I woke up around 12, um, I didn't get a room, my own room, until seven that night. So I was there for a couple hours, and my oxygen kept on dropping because I was in a lot of pain, so I guess I wasn't breathing. But I, I made sure I did my purse, my purse, purse breathing, so I breathe in through my nose and out to get the oxygen back. It would drop up to 90. Uh, percent, which is really low, anything below 90, 95 is low. But then after that, um, did they have me drink anything there? No, for that was the thing I wasn't expecting. The whole first day after surgery, so all Friday, I was not allowed any liquid. So they gave me like this little cup of water and a sponge so I can like wet my lips and wet my tongue and all that. And that was kind of harsh because I was thirsty. I was really thirsty. I wasn't hungry, I was just thirsty. Um, and so then I go to my room and they're giving me um, the allotted through the IV. That's the pain medication they had me on. The next day I was going to start liquids. So they switched me over 
the next morning to uh, Lortab, or li which is liquid Norco, and that was given to me in four hours. And I was able to handle liquids okay. I was having, even still now, like the burping. I was burping the um, the gas out or whatever. Um, still feeling very distended. My stomach was really bloated when I was stood. I was surprised with that too, that I wasn't having any stomach pain and the doctor was like, they put a block in there. So I guess that's why I wasn't having pain there, but I was having a lot of pain in my chest. That was my ma biggest complaint. Like it would go up to an eight. And I was, I had my own private room, which was really nice. And so I, I did about walking around the first day, 300 feet, 300 feet. And so they're very strict in schedule, like if, because the thing is the medication will only last for about three hours in me, and then I start feeling the pain again. And it got really bad in three and a half hours. It would go from a, a three or four to a full on eight, nine, but they had to wait the, the four hours. So I was like, okay, well, I'm suffering here. But they didn't want to make sure my liver was okay because the acetaminophen on it. And then it got to, was it the night nurse? Yeah, that day. This is a Friday, Saturday, Saturday night. Yeah, I couldn't even walk like 25 feet. Like I got out of the room and I felt really bad that day. So my blood pressure had gone up, my temperature had gone up by one point, one degree. And so I was like, oh, this is bad. They gave my pain medication and I slept through it and, and I got better. Sunday, I woke up a little better. That time my pain from my chest had gone away, but my stomach was starting to hurt. And so I was hoping for the gas to come out, but it wasn't coming out. I was trying my best. It was not coming out. And um, finally, my sister and brother-in-law went to pick me up and took me home. And I've, I've been doing everything by the book. I I got the documenting with a piece of paper um, what I'm drinking. Because that's what they told me to make sure to get my 64 ounces of liquid every day. And I have my protein water. I buy my Pedialyte. I bought this tea they recommend for um, to help your bowels, and that did nothing. I took two cups of those tea, but then my sister went out for me gummy Miralax, because it's another thing they say to do. Well, I kind of overdid it, because around 3 in the morning last night, I woke up, and I was so excited. I was so excited. I was like, yes, finally a bowel movement. And I had about three, and I was like kind of cramping, because I, I, I guess the tea and the Miralax took effect all at the same time, but no regrets, because I, I do feel less bloated. I still feel distended, but, you know, um, I just went out today. My mom came over and took me to Albertsons. I still walk very slow, and but at least I'm doing my walking. I can go up and down the steps here at my sister's house. And so far, so good. No complaints. You know, I'm kind of, with anything, you're worried about getting an infection or getting, you know, a temperature. But it's been under control. I'm taking my vitamins. I said that already. I do feel that the medication does make me feel a little loopy and a little out of it. So I'm like, uh, just in the clouds. But I'm hoping to wean off of them by the end of the week. I gained, they put so many IV bags on me because they want to make sure I kept hydrated that I, had, I gained like 10 pounds. And it's just a water weight, so we'll see how fast that goes by. I'm not hungry, which I love. I don't feel hunger. And I haven't had any mental cravings yet, like with food. My sister and brother all last night. I didn't record that I should have. They um, bought food from Coco, so like quesadilla and like chicken and it's just bad fried food and cookies, ahoys and Oreos. I was just judging them with my eyes like really, really. But no, I'm so thankful that I'm not hungry and uh, I'm really happy with the decision. I saw some people on YouTube that get it done, they feel regret and I guess it's normal but for me, I like, I prepare myself mentally for this dieting up and down way for 15 years that and I knew people personally had gone through this and you know so I don't know it's like I feel was ready and thankfully so far knock on wood like I'm happy with my choice I'll keep you guys updated so this is what day two at home my stomach looks like I still haven't showered <clears throat> I want to make sure that my pain is a little lower to make sure that I'm able to do that by myself and I have a little slip and fall because I have slipped in the shower before. So, you see the little bruising still there. But like I said, I feel a lot better. Two sixty-five. <clears throat> well, that's what four pounds down in water weight. I was two fifty-nine when I went in. So I'm here with my mom. 
I'm going to Sam's Club. I'm feeling a lot better today. I feel like I walked the store. I actually sweeped their backyard a little bit this oh, morning. KV. So I'm feeling good. I have my protein water. I need some protein because we're going to Sam's Club. It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? Warm. No pa estar barriendo, niño. I just did it. Little... Oh, and I weighed myself this morning and I'm down to 158, which is one pound less than pre surgery. So I lost all my surgery weight. Those 10 pounds of fluid that I had in me. They're all, they're all gone. So I'm here with mom at Starbucks. And um, I'm having a decaf passion iced tea with three splendas. I'm not allowed to use a straw, so I'm sipping on it slowly. It tastes delicious. It's a beautiful spring day. It's spring, right? It's already spring. We <laughs> think so, La Primavera. And the other bird over here was singing for us for a bit. But he got all camera shy. So Elijah's gonna sing for us. So today is March 16, 2016, and it's a Wednesday, so it's about two days away from a week from my surgery. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm still in my sister's house here in Riverside, as you can hear Elijah crying upstairs, and they're getting ready. It's a day off today, so we're about to go out somewhere. I have reduced significantly the amount of medication for the pain I'm taking. Um, what I'm starting to feel now, I don't know if it's hunger or if it is... The acid, they say the reflux you feel. I am taking a Prevacid as, as, I'm, as ordered for 30 days to see to me calm down, but I think it might be a combination of both because I feel like a burning, but also like when you haven't eaten for so long, you feel your like stomach spasming and hunger. That's how I kind of feel. And I woke up this morning hungry, I guess. Oh, excuse me. But again, I don't know if it's hunger or if it is the acid. I have bought Isopure, which is good because it has a lot of, um, not carbs. As zero carbs, but I have 40 grams of protein and only 160 calories. But it's made out of whey, whey protein. And my stomach seems to be, even before the surgery, I was kind of getting lactose intolerant, where I would feel like bubbly. And they gave me this whey protein out of the hospital too. And it just, I feel like the bubbles in my little pouchy stomach bubbling up. So I went and I bought this um, vegetable, vegetable, plant-based protein. Organic protein. I got it at Sam's Club. There was only two left, so I got both. It was actually a pretty good price. It was twenty dollars for two pounds. Here's my little section. Little section right here of what I'm having for um, after my surgery. My antacid, my Marilax, my smooth tea, water, and sugar-free gel over there. I haven't done it. Uh, gel is not like something I really like to eat, anyways. Oh, and what I did add to this, because it has um, the almond, the 30 calories almond milk, and then the protein, two scoops of that. So that comes up to about 170 calories for um, eight ounces. Plus, I put a little water as well, so I can, you know, because it's really sweet. And then I also put today, because my sister has this powder, uh, peanut butter powder. It's called PB Fit. And it has about 65 calories for two scoops, plus four extra grams of protein. So in total, it's 24 grams of protein here. So it's a high in calorie compared to the protein amount compared to isopure. But I'm not feeling gassy here and down here because the, the whey protein is getting to me. So I had to quit that. So yeah, we'll see how today goes. And see when I can finally drop. So I just... Huh? Ayudala. Me? Yeah. I told you over there to begin with and you said no. Take number two. So I bought this PB and Fit that I was telling you guys earlier that I put in my protein shake. It is 85% less fat than regular peanut butter, gluten-free, no GMO, natural, vegan, kosher. It's one pound and 14 ounces for $10. And I, I was incorrect on my research because this one says 50 calories for two tablespoons. It has three grams of sugar, which I don't really like. But, you know, and then five grams of protein. Which is good. 256.2. 2. 
That means that I lost 3 pounds from pre-surgery weight and a total of 13 pounds since coming home from surgery. Not bad, it's a pound day. Today is Thursday, a day away from being a whole week since my surgery. I'm still my sisters, but I plan on driving to LA today to go pick up my mail and see how I do driving. You know, I'm still taking my protein shake in the morning, like I said yesterday. Delicious. And, um, not much else to report. Feeling good still, thank God. <laughs> Don't mind my neighbor's music. So I got to home to LA and UPS had delivered this. Thankfully, my neighbors uh, took it. There's a package from the insurance. Oh, how cool, my vitamins. I didn't have to buy all that. Look at all this protein they sent me. This is amazing. I see what's in here. So I almost died going down. The last step on, on the turnaround here, I grabbed myself in the handrail and against the wall, a little bruise there. I felt a little stretch in my incisions to the left, to the right, but I'm okay. I'm alive. 80 degrees, dang. March 17, Tuesday. Tomorrow will be a whole week after my surgery. So I came to weigh myself. I was kind of surprised, because I thought I weighed 256 yesterday. 252.6. Is that four pounds in one day? Incredible. So today is, today is, today is March 18th, a Friday. A whole week since my surgery, not able to sit comfortably in a low car on my brother-in-law's um, Challenger, which is really low and really tight, but you know, I'm feeling really good. I'm really down to just taking one Narco and a half yesterday, so my pain has decreased significantly down. I still, like I said, have a little pain on like the right here in the succession site, and it's still bruised. It's, it's the only one that's really bruised, and it's like, like pulling pain from right there. Um, and right now we're headed to the Home Depot and to the Nana Cent store. They, or you want, I, I buy my um, can opener. It's, it's, it's a black one from Nana Cent store. It's perfect. I love it. It lasts you about six months though. But, because if you buy the $6 ones from like um, Walmart, they also last about six uh, months for a year sometimes. Time. So uh, I'm, we're going to go to Nana Cent store right over here in Riverside. I need to go look at the sheds because I'm planning on moving to my sister's house later this year. And I'm going to use the shed. I'm going to buy the shed, use it as storage, and as a thank you, I'm going to give them the shed once I move out. So, yeah. Hopefully, um, this baby over here doesn't get too angry back to by himself. He doesn't like being by himself. He's good. His damn alarm. He ain't even following the damn diet. You know what we had yesterday to eat? Two big old, I didn't even film you eating. Two big old servings of chilaquiles that smell so good. Chilaquiles? Yeah, they were small. Though. It was a small spot. Oh, no, they were huge. Go, go. Like that. And um, they had this, he made some guacamole salsa, was, which is, just looks delicious. Sure. But I can't have any solid foods until six, five more weeks. Five more weeks! <laughs>